exciting updates for IBM Cloud schematics, a new IBM Cloud billing model, and 10% off Intel-based bare metal servers. All on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. To get the ball rolling this week, let's take a look at some new features and capabilities we've released in IBM Cloud schematics. In particular, there are three that I'm going to focus on. First, you can now streamline the installation of the IBM Cloud provider by pulling directly from the Terraform registry. This is great news because you no longer need to manually install and configure the provider. And you can specify the exact version that you want to work against. Second, Schematics now supports Terraform version 0.13. This version comes with a number of improvements, including the ability to specify third-party providers or modules within your Terraform configuration. And third, we're currently in closed beta for Ansible action support in schematics. Red Hat's open source Ansible is an industry leader for infrastructure automation. Primarily used for configuration management, Ansible gracefully picks up where Terraform leaves off. To get the full details on these new features, check out the blog I've got linked below. Next up, I'd like to introduce a new IBM Cloud billing model to help you optimize your business. The model is called Cloud Pay-As-You-Go with Committed Use. With it, you commit to spend a certain amount on IBM Cloud and receive discounts across the cloud platform. You are billed monthly based on your usage, and unlike a subscription, you continue to receive a discount even after you reach your yearly committed amount. So how does this benefit you? Well, first, there's the consumption billing you are invoiced at the service level for what you consume each month. Second, there are no penalties for overage charges. If you spend more than the amount you committed to, you will continue to receive the same discounts agreed upon by IBM. And third, you'll enjoy an improved console experience where you can easily visualize the progress towards a commitment. To learn more about the new IBM Cloud billing model, check out the link below. To finish things off today, I'm gonna to bring you a little deal. Within the IBM Cloud customer portal, you'll now find new options for custom image support on IBM Cloud bare metal servers. By leveraging our existing image template library, you'll be able to achieve golden images on compatible hardware. This saves you time and eases the work required for scaling and migration. And to promote these new custom image support features, we're celebrating with a limited time offer. 10% off on select four and 12 drive second gen Intel Xeon dual processor servers. To see a full list of the qualifying server options and learn how to redeem this great promo, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.